Hi everybody! In this example I'm going to talk about the desaturate and HSV balance filters. These filters are used to change the color of a layer. One useful application of this is during the construction and sketching phase. Typically, one would make a construction layer to add the basic forms. One would have a sketch on top of that and one might also have some reference lines denoting the important proportions. I could draw all these layers in grey and vary the opacity of each layer to easily distinguish between them. Another approach would be to give each layer its own color. Once I've chosen a color for a layer, I might want to change it later. First of all, here I've drawn the reference lines in orange and the construction lines in grey. If I change my mind and want the reference lines in grey instead, I can easily use the desaturate filter. Another option would be to use the HSV adjustment. Here I can shift the hue to the left or the right, and I can increase or decrease the saturation or the lightness. I convert orange to a bright red. If you do not know what hue, saturation and value means, by the way, you can learn about this in one of the appendices in the section about coloring and painting. Next, let's change the color of the construction layer. As you can see, changing the hue has no effect. Since we started with a grayscale layer, we need to check colorize first. I would draw a basic sketch in green. and a detail sketch in black. A third option is to use color adjustment curves. In this case I see a graph with input lightness on the horizontal axis and an output lightness on the vertical axis. This graph will take the value of the layer and map it according to the graph. So, for example, I can increase the contrast like so. In this case, all the dark areas are mapped to black, and all the light areas are mapped to white. Intermediate areas are mapped by this straight linear line between black and white. If I flatten the curve like so, all the values are mapped to black. Or if I reverse the curve, then the light parts are mapped to dark and the dark parts are mapped to light. So in other words, it inverts the image. I can also apply a curve to each R, G, B and A channel individually, or I can apply the curve to the lightness. In this case, for example, I remove all the red from the image, or I can keep a constant red tint. Or I could invert the blue, for example. So that's all for now. See you in the next video. Bye bye.